Hey guys, my name is Daryl, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my personal top 11 plugins. Now, there's a lot of plugins out there, guys, so it's kind of hard which ones to use or not. So, I'm gonna share with you guys my top 11 plugin list. So, stick around. All right, so number 11 on my list is the Access Press Social Icons plugin. Now, the reason why this made my top 11 list is because not only is this a free plugin, it comes with pre designed layouts icon sets and you can even upload your own now let me give you guys an example of how you guys can customize these and what you can do with it so over here on my dummy website I made the icons really big but that's just because I want to show you guys that you guys can do anything you guys can have it vertically or horizontally or you can just have a complete set so let's go ahead and show you guys the dashboard so over here is the dashboard and you guys can choose from all these available icon themes so for example we can have this theme 4 with this really cool uh, shade they have behind the social icons. And all you guys need to do in order to customize it, simply say, I want this 100 by 100. You can add in the link uh, right there. And you guys can scroll down here. You can set them vertically or horizontally. You can even set the icon animation. So it gives it more of like a, a flavor, right? So over here, we can have it bounce, we can have it flash, pulse, all sorts of good stuff. You can actually design tooltip color text as well and um, like I said it's a great plugin so this is why uh, it made my top 11 list so let's go on to number 10 all right so number 10 on my list is gonna have to be the contact form 7 plugin now the reason why contact form 7 is so highly rated and so amazing is because you can create really simple contact form pages just like this and the best part about it is that it goes straight to your inbox. In fact, you guys can even make certain fields required. So right here, I have your name and your email is required. Your subject is not, your message is not. So let's give you an example of this plugin. So this is the plugin, this is the dashboard. And right here it says your name required, your email required, text your subject. And let's just say I want to put in a phone number. So I can click on telephone right here and I can go ahead and say, yeah, I want this to be telephone. And this is a great way to get girls numbers because you can make this a required field and they will be required to put that telephone number in. So this is my number 10 list for contact form seven. So number nine on my list is coming soon page and maintenance prod by seed prod. Now the reason why I chose it to be number nine is because it's actually easy to use and it actually works. Trust me, there's a lot of plugins out there that don't work or actually are really difficult to use. This plugin is very simple to use. So over here we have the dashboard and all you have to do is basically say, okay, I want this plugin disabled. You click right there, coming soon mode, right there, enable maintenance mode, right there. You can put in your logo or a picture. You can put in a headline and a message as well. You can also add more media to your message right here if you wanna get creative and just click on save changes and that is it. That's all you need to do to create your coming home page because I've tried a lot of them and a lot of them were really bad and didn't work. This one is very easy to use and that's why it's so highly rated. So this one made my list. All right, and number eight on my list is going to be the Google Analytics plugin by Kevin Sylvester right here. This has over 600,000 active installs with very good ratings. And guys, you have to have Google Analytics installed because how are you gonna know who's coming to your website? Google Analytics tells you everything, who's coming, from what country, what page are they visiting, so it's almost required. And the reason why this plugin is great is because you don't have to mess with any HTML code, no script, none of that stuff. So over here, this is the plugin right here. All you have to do is enter in the web property ID that Google Analytics gives you. So if you go to your Google Analytics dashboard, it's gonna look something like this, where they give you this tracking ID. All you need to do is just take this tracking ID, copy it, and just put it in right there, just like this, just like this, and you're done. And just click on save changes. Now, the reason why it's more convenient to do this because you don't have to mess with this script, you don't have to use any of this PHP stuff, mess with meta tags, none of that stuff. So it's very simple to use. I use it, so that's why I recommend it for all of my viewers. Now, guys, this is a very important plugin because what this does is that it actually smushes all of your images. So if you have very large images and have large loading times, this will drastically reduce it. 
so it optimizes all of your photos and it reduces the image size without actually affecting the actual size. And it has over 400,000 downloads and I mean just look at those stars. So let's show you guys what this does. So over here I am on the WP Smush dashboard and it says Daryl you have 31 images that need smushing and they can go ahead and give me more space and make my website much more faster because trust me those large images do uh, slow your website down. So I'm going to click on bulk smash now and I'm going to go ahead and maybe pause the video because this probably does take maybe uh, a few minutes. All right, so that finished smushing. Now you guys can see right here the total reductions around 6% of my website and it's reduced this much space on my website. So guys, it made my website much faster than it used to be and if you're uploading hundreds of images, uh, I highly recommend uh, this plugin. Number six on the list is the WP Fastest Cache. So what this plugin does is that it makes your website much faster. So when people go to your website, they won't be stuck with loading times. It won't be slow. It'll be instant. It'll be very fast. And your website will be faster uh, with this plugin than without it. Now, the reason why I don't use WP Super Cache anymore, which is his biggest competitor, is because I always run into errors with this plugin. And whenever I try to get support, I don't get it. And it has got uh, a long uh, reputation of no support. And it does have a lot of one star reviews compared to WP Fastest Cache, where it has an overwhelming amount of good reviews and, you know, just a little bit of bad reviews here and there. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys how this works. So this is the WP Fastest Cache options. All you guys have to do is just go ahead and just check the enable box, go ahead and submit, and this will drastically reduce the time it takes for your page to load. You can go ahead from time to time and delete the cache, and this will make it so visitors go to your website and won't be stuck with those long loading times, because guys, that's so important because that can create a bounce rate. You know, you ever go to a website where it takes too long to load, you're like, oh, screw this, I'm gonna leave. Well, <laughs> that's why you need this plugin. So this is why the WP Fastest Cache made my list. Number five on the list is the Sumo Me plugin, which helps you guys grow your email list and subscribers. And guys, this is probably the best free plugin that helps you uh, grow your subscriber list. And let me show you an example of what this plugin looks like. So on my website right here, I was hit with a pop-up. So it says, get free stuff, enter your email. Now, this is better than not doing anything, guys. And I'm going to show you guys my dashboard to show you guys that this plugin actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on login. And I have a notification right here. See that? I'm going to click on that notification. And it says, this person and eight others subscribed around 13 hours ago. So I've got probably nine subscribers within 13 hours. And um, you guys can go ahead and turn your list builder on. And what this does is that it shows you the statistics of okay 24 pop-ups i had four subscribers which is around a 16.67 conversion rate so it basically gives you all the statistics so i've con uh, collected uh, 54 email addresses so this is a free plugin guys and it's probably the best one out there for you guys to use so um just download it try it if you guys want to actually uh design the uh, form itself you will have to upgrade it but this is the standard free one and it's a great plugin guys it really works and i highly recommend uh this plugin uh, by sumo me number four on my list is the yoast seo plugin now guys this is a very important plugin because what this does is that it optimizes your website for search engines like google yahoo and bing it also helps get indexed and it also tells people what your website is about. Now, let me give you guys an example of what this plugin does. So over here, I typed in Daryl Wilson WordPress and my website comes up as number one. And right here it says, Daryl Wilson, how to make a WordPress website. How to start your own WordPress website. So my keyword is WordPress website. So WordPress website step-by-step, -step, start your WordPress blog or e-commerce website. Now this can all be done with the Yoast SEO plugin. And guys, I also have a comprehensive, uh, my video is right here. It actually hit the front page, it's on the top, so it's, it's pretty valuable. Now uh, what this tutorial does, it covers all of the options in the Yoast SEO plugin. So uh, this is my video, make sure to check it out. It's about a 35 minute video, but let's go ahead and give you a quick summary of what this can do for your website. So over here I have uh, how to make a WordPress website. And right here, it's how to start your own WordPress website. I can actually change all of this to what I want by entering in whatever description I want, and it will show up right here. And it also show up in the search engines. 
Now let's say you're a web hosting company, right? So you wanna do like web hosting, something like that. Type in your keyword and it will basically rank your website for that keyword. Now, of course, let's, let's just say I wanna type in like uh, dog collars. Dog collars, something like that. My website is not really going to rank high for dog collars because I haven't really optimized it for dog collars. So if I type in WordPress, like that, WordPress website, which is the keyword I'm trying to focus, something like that, it comes up as green. So it's basically letting me know, uh, you know, uh, your keyword density is correct, all this information is correct. So you kind of want it in green, guys, but I want to make one quick notation about this plugin. This plugin does not improve your ranking on the search engine, guys. That's what a lot of people tend to think. They think, oh, I'll just sell Yoast SEO plugin and my ranking will go up as long as I produce content. That's not the case, guys. You'll have to hire an SEO company and there's a lot of things involved like link building, there's uh, forum posting, there's, um, there's just so much involved with SEO and uh, I would hire an SEO company. I use it for mine. But like I said, this does not improve your ranking. So that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. Uh, uh, there's like a myth out there saying, oh, I install Yoast, uh, I'll rank number one. That's not true. But the plugin nonetheless is still amazing. And I highly recommend it because I use it as well. Number three on my list is the DV Builder. Now the DV Builder is the number one drag and drop page builder. Any other plugin that claims this drag and drop is not really drag and drop. Now the DV Builder is drag and drop, literally drag and drop. This is how you build stuff. You know, I can duplicate the row. I can, you know, add in another, um, I can add in a text module. I can add in an image just like this. I can switch it around. Guys, this is the number one rated uh, drag and drop page builder. And I actually have tutorials on you can make websites that look just like this with this plugin. There's so much you guys can do with this plugin. Now this is the DV Builder and you can create pages that look just like this, these stunning layouts. Elegant Themes is by far uh, the number one rated company. Now this is actually included with the theme. So in order to get this plugin, you're gonna have to pay for the theme. The theme is around 69 or I think it goes down to like 49 bucks. But um, I use it to create all these websites or my websites and you guys can see, you guys can create anything with the DV Builder plugin. Oh, my boy just texted me. <laughs> Sorry about that. So uh, like I said, guys, it's an amazing plugin. Um, it's just drag and drop, literally. You can duplicate rows. It's very easy to use. I use it on my website. So if you go to darylwilson.com and just check out this website, this is all made with the DV Builder. It's just, um, it's limitless. Your imagination is uh, the limit, basically. You can create anything you want, so I highly recommend it. And I have tutorials on it, guys, so if you guys get the plugin, you guys can actually watch my tutorials and figure out how to use it. But it's very self-explanatory. I mean, just give it like a few, uh, just give it like a month and you'll probably master it and you'll be like, I am never doing anything else but going to the DV Builder. So that's my number three, guys. Let's go to the next. Okay guys, we're getting up there. Now number two on my list is the Bloom plugin by Elegant Themes. Now let's wait one minute. There it is, you see that? So the Bloom plugin, it creates these opt-in forms that sort of pop up and they have really good design and it's very easy to just go ahead and put your email, press subscribe. It's very simple and it looks really good. And there's a lot of layouts they have. So these are some of the layouts that you guys can have that pop up. And I'm sure you guys have seen this on other websites where you've seen um, pop-ups that look just like this. This is actually done with the Bloom plugin. So a lot of websites use this plugin because it's very clean and it's professional. Now let me show you guys the dashboard for this plugin. So this right here shows that there was uh, 3,300 impressions, 35 conversions, which means people who signed up, and I have about a 1% conversion rate. Now I'm gonna show you guys the settings. So you guys can actually just select your email provider and it integrates with all these email providers like Aweber, Mailchimp, constant contact. So uh, all these right here, it integrates with, it works really easily. Uh, whatever, whenever somebody signs up uh, through this plugin, it goes straight to my, uh, my Mailchimp account. So it's really easy guys. And you can change the design. Now I just chose one of their templates because they have really nice looking templates. And for those of you who wanna get more creative, you can design the color, the background, the header font, the body font. Uh, it's almost limitless on what you can do 
with this plugin. And also for display settings, you guys can choose if you want it to slide up, slide down, fade in. Um, you guys can actually have it triggered as well. So let's say for example, somebody starts to scroll down the page or scroll up, it can then trigger based off if you want you know, people to, um, you know, scrolling up, scrolling down, it'll pop up at you. Same thing at a blog. And also you can have which pages do you want this displayed on? So I have it displayed on everything, but you can actually have homepage, archives, categories, uh, pages, or um, any specific categories. You can also do display on these pages and do not display on these. So you can really have full control over uh, what pops up on what page. So this is why I rated this a very premium plugin. Now in order to buy this, you actually have to purchase the DV theme and you get this free with it. Or you buy this, you get the DV theme, DV theme free. So either way, uh, if you purchase this or the DV theme, you're gonna get both. So you're basically getting access to their entire lot of premium plugins. So I use it, I love it. It's a very, very good plugin. So that is why it made my number two list. And now let's go on to number one. And we made it to number one, guys. Congratulations. Guys, I wanna stress that security is the most important thing about your website. If someone logs into your website like this, they guess your email and your password, guess what? Your website is history. The Clef plugin is amazing. Let me show you guys what this does. So I'm gonna click on learn more. Now what this is, it's an authenticator. So you can only open your website with your phone by scanning a code. And the great part about this plugin is that it's free. I mean, the New York Times rated this the number one plugin of all time because it is. Let me show you guys the dashboard. So this is Clef, it's a two-way authenticator and you can only open up your WordPress dashboard with Clef. It doesn't even give people the access to enter in a password or guess your information. You can actually have both. So this is the dashboard. You can actually have uh, both. So this will enable it to have a password or the bar, or you can enable this right here and it'll only give users uh, the option to run the code. So I wanna stress that security is the most important thing. You know, there's a lot of hackers out there. If someone gets a hold of your website, that's it, you know, all your hard work is gone. It's that bad and trust me, it happens all the time. So with this on your website, um, you'll have your website protected and your phone will be the only way it opens up, guys. So this is why Clef made my number one list because I use it for my website because I think it's most important to have security because I don't like the idea of somebody having access like this. They can just try to enter in my username and email my password. I mean, I don't want that. I don't even want them to have options for that. You know, I don't want some random person to have the option to enter in a user or neighbor password, right? Like it's my website. So that is why I have Clef. So it's an amazing plugin, guys. Feel free to rate this video. If you guys have any other plugins that you guys wanna talk about or know, or I did not mention, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Yell at me, tell me this was a terrible tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.